you know very well we are discussing the art and culture topics and we have completed uh, almost i think five topics good evening students welcome back to pluto sis right uh, today is our 74th day right so you know very well we are discussing the art and culture topics and we have completed uh, almost i think five topics and today we are discuss going to discuss the classical and flow folk music yesterday we have discussed classical dance and also classical dance and folk dance right so with this we will be uh, yesterday's lecture and uh, today's lecture we will be completing the apart from the classical dance and folk uh, classical music we will also be covering we have also we will also be covering the folk dance and folk music so yesterday yesterday also i have mentioned just you have to cover the uh, folk paint folk painting just try to cover that from your side right so after this we have uh, one more last topic a topic in the art and culture that too we cannot strictly say it is a art and culture topic but we can consider it in the uh, earlier history topic also but however it is very important that uh, i am going to discuss the numismatics numismatics means study of the coins and epigraphy that is the study of the inscriptions study of the inscriptions is known as epigraphy and the study of coins is known as uh, numismatics we are going to uh, see these two aspects in the last his history of the lecture right so now we will uh, see the classical music we will come to this topic right so we will see the classical and folk music so just like the classical dance the classical music also roots in the ancient time ancient period it has also roots in the ancient period the same book bharatas natya shastra it is considered as the source for classical music also because dance and uh, music they are often associated with each other each other there will be uh, i mean apart from dance you will also having music so they go hand in hand so because of this reason natya shastra itself is also considered as a source for ca classical music so <coughs> uh you know very well there are two important uh, traditions two traditions in the classical uh, sorry in the classical music that is hindustani music and carnatic music music so hindustani music you know very well uh it is uh, in vogue in northern part of india present north india and also it is uh, present in pakistan also so it has roots in the it we can say hindustani music is a again blend of persian and uh, indian traditions just like the kathak music kathak dance yesterday we have seen so among the all the classical dances only kathak kathak has the roots from another area that is roots from the persia uh, similarly hindustani music it has a, an amalgamation between the indian and uh, persian music uh, traditions whereas the other uh, music carnatic music it is purely indigenous indigenous so we can say uh, apart from that it is completely indigenous and uh, especially it is uh, it is association with south india so it is associated with south india all right so this is the a uh, brief introduction about the two traditions however there are other differences also there are lot of there is a more chance for experiments in the uh, hindustani classical music however the karnataka karnatak karnatic music, music is very strict there is little chance for experiment in the carnatic music so it is known for its focus on composition and structured pieces right so it uses a different system of uh, system of ragas than the hindustani mu music also it features unique instruments like veena and mridangam we will see those instruments also right 
so it's if you see the hindu hindustani music it is characterized by its emphasis on improvisation and exploration of all, of all aspects of raga so there is uh, more chance for experimentation in hindustani music but there is very very less chance for experimentation in the carnatic music so apart from that we may, if we see the brief history of uh, the classical music in india right so it has thousands of years of uh, history or we can say tradition the natya shastra as i have earlier told natya shastra is considered as a source for this one also right so performance is it is traditionally performed in a guru shishya system where the teacher passes down their knowledge to the shishya right the ragas are the important aspect in the uh, classical music the two aspects ragas and the talas so ragas are the foundation of the indian classical music they are melo- melodic frameworks <coughs> that define mood emotion etc <coughs> there are hundreds of ragas each with, each is with its own <coughs> we can say u- unique features apart from that tala is also there so it is the rhythmic cycles that provide structure to the indian classic music that is tala right there are many different talas they are different for hindustani and uh, carnatic music also each with a specific number of beats and particular emphasis on certain beats will be there right when we uh, study the hindustani and the carnatic music separately we will see how the tala and raga vary so the you uh, remember just one thing tala raga these are two important aspects the basis for the classical music both hindustani music and carnatic music now uh, now we will see in some detail about the hindustani music right it is especially associated with north india right <coughs> uh right so it is a vibrant and melody rich tradition right so <coughs> uh this is a brief introduction of, about the hindustani music if we see the key elements of uh hindustani music ragas in fifi uh the cornerstone of hindustani music is raga they are melodic frameworks that define the mood and the feeling of a piece right so unlike the western scales ragas use specific notes and their movement to create a unique emotional impact so this is the speciality of hindustani ragas talas so these are the rhythmic cycles uh, that provide foundation for the music each tala has a specific number of beats and uh, emphasizes on certain beats within the cycle right creating a captivating uh, sound of uh, structure of the sound this is tala so this also we have already discussed there is lot sco- there is much more scope for uh, experimentation and improvisation in the hindustani music right so musicians explore the intricacies of a raga within the framework of the tala creating a unique and ever evolving performance each time instruments associated with hindustani music are generally sitar it is a stringed instrument we will again study about the instruments that will be used in the classical music sarod will be there it is a fretted lute like instruments uh, tabla will be there tabla you know very well it is a pair of tuned drums next veena is there especially veena uh, it is more associated with the uh, south india carnatic music but comparatively less with the hindustani music vocal styles if you see it features a rich tradition of vocal musical styles some of the styles are drupad so drupad is an ancient venerated style known for its slow slow tempo emphasis on text and intricate rhythmic patterns this is drupad khayal is there it is the most popular form today so you know in north india there are from music houses i mean music houses ma uh, mean traditionally some families they just practice music so in those in those music houses khayal is more and more, i mean it is the most popular one right it allows for more freedom in improvisation and emotional expression tumri 
uh, it is another vocal style it is a lighter more playful style often associated with romantic theme so these are the vocal styles try to remember the name right so this is about the hindustani hindustani music uh, now we will see the carnatic music right so it is the uh, associated with the south india it is also known as the soul of the south india origins it is developed in south india like states of andhra pradesh karnataka uh, kerala tamil nadu etc right so it has roots in ancient hindu texts and the traditions particularly in the samveda right so samveda when we were discussing the vedic literature we have already studied samveda is something related to during the hymns that are there in the rigveda right structure if you see uh, unlike the hindustani music's emphasis on improvisation carnatic music focuses on composed pieces with well defined structures right so these compositions are also known as krutis so for uh, carnatic carnatic music the krutis are very very important right so these compositions are also known as krutis remember this word ragas so similar to hindustani music carnatic music uses ragas melodical frameworks that evoke emotions and moods right however there is a difference between hindustani music and uh, carnatic music with respect to ragas carnatic ragas have a distinct system compared to their northern counterparts right talas so just like the hindustani music carnatic music also relies on the rhythmic uh, talas for rhythmic structure these rhythmic cycles they provide a foundation for the compositions and improvisations right so this is about tala instruments associated with are vocal instruments right so carnatic uh, music uh, prioritizes vocals with a focus on clear pronunciation and intricate ornamentation melodic instruments like veena violin and uh, venu or flute they provide the melodic uh, accompaniment to the carnatic music rhythmic uh, uh, the instruments are also used like mridangam that is known as drum ghatam that is clay pot so that will also be used and uh, kanjira it is a frame drum it is also very very uh, unique uh, music uh, instrument that is especially used in the karnataka carnatic music kanjira remember the names ghatam kanjira mridangam right these are the rhythmic instruments music instruments so drone instruments are also there the tambura it is a string instrument it creates a drone sound that sustains the tonal center so remember the associated uh, musical instruments also we can divide the musical instruments associated with the carnatic music carnatic music into several categories right several categories those are vocal music in that uh, <coughs> uh there, there are some instruments in the vocal instruments also next is melodic instruments like veena violin and venu uh, venu means flute so these are the melodic instruments rhythmic instruments are there they are mridangam ghatam and kanjira right apart from that drone instruments if you see tambura is there that will create the drone sound effect all right so performance of the hindu uh, carnatic music uh, carnatic per- music performances if you see uh, the performances typically involve a small ensemble a lead vocalist will be there a, melo- a melodic up- accompanist will be there a rhythmic uh, so from every aspect one one person will be there and uh, they will be the singer will be singing the song the instrumentalist they will be playing the instruments so that is the uh, that is the that is how the performance of the carnatic music goes on right so similarly similarly just like the hindustani music also it is it follows a guru shishya uh, uh, parampara or tradition where the music knowledge is transferred to shishya 
by the guru right so this is about the carnatic music now we will see some of the musical instruments that are associated with the classical music first one are first category are string movements string means there is a wire or string will be there for that uh, instruments first one is sitar so it is the most iconic instrument of indian classical music it is fretted string instrument with a long neck and a distinctive sitar shaped body right so this is sitar right next is veena so you have seen it veena right it is another ancient string instrument that is considered to be sacred in hinduism so it is most popularly associated with the carnatic music than the uh, hindustani music right uh, next is sarod is there it is a fretless uh, lute like instrument it is known for its uh, warm mellow mellow tune so it is similar to sitar in some respects but it has a different playing style and a more subdued sound will be there so here you can see this is the sarod musical instrument next is santur so santur is a hammered uh, dulcimer or dulcimer uh, that is played by striking the strings with mallets so it has a sweet resonant sound that is often used in hindustani classical music so here you can see how uh, complex this is right so that that is santur right so these are the uh, these are the some of the string instruments now we will see wind instruments right so in that first one is bansuri it is a simple simple bamboo flute that is one of the oldest instruments in india right it has a gentle breathy sound and that is often used to play folk melodies and the devotional music right so it is important for both hindustani music and uh, carnatic classical music next is shenai so it is a double reed double reed instrument that is known for its bright penetrating sound it is often used in outdoor performances and processions and is also associated with indian weddings and other celebratory occasions so shenai you might have seen this in uh, marriages etc so these are the wind instruments next we have percussion instruments percussion instruments are they generate sound when they are beaten beaten means uh, don't understand wrongly so rhythmically uh, the instruments will be beaten then the sweet sound will come from them so in that first and foremost one is tabla so it is a pair of tuned drums that are the foundation of the rhythmic Uh, accompaniment in hindustani classical music right so the, the pl- tabla player uses a variety of techniques to create complex and intricate rhythms so this is the tabla and the mridangam is there so it is a barrel shaped drum that is the primary rhythmic instrument in carnatic music so it is uh, if you look the i mean the area from where the sound will come it is just like the tabla only right so it will have the two types two uh, two sides it will have the beating areas right so it is played with both hands and the sticks and it can produce a wide range of sounds right so these are the uh, percussion instruments now drone instrument that is uh, one of the important example is tanpura so tanpura is a string instrument that is used to create drone uh which is a continuous background sound that provides a harmonic foundation for the melody right so it is also an essential part of both hindustani and classic uh, carnatic music right so this is about the classical music and instruments musical instruments associated with classical music right so now we will see some of the important folk dances and areas uh from where they are associated sorry or areas from where they have emerged so this thing uh, this much you have to remember with respect to examination 
about the uh, folk music just like the folk dance the dance name the area and the occasion when it is performed similarly here also you have to remember the name of the folk da folk music and the area that that particular music is associated with right so folk music uh diversity and the themes will be uh, diversity of themes will be there they have uh, roots in the regions different different regions right so theme is life itself is a theme for uh, folk music uh, for that matter if you take any folk art whether it is painting whether it is music whether it is dance the life of the tribe tri uh, the type life of the folk people that itself is a theme for the uh folk art whether uh, i mean it can be either any other folk art right so some of the popular folk dances if you see bangra dance uh, you know very well bangda uh, it is associated with the uh, dance plus music music is also there associated music is there that is known as bangda music it is associated with punjab during the harvesting seasons right this is bangda dance and uh, the music associated with the, this dance it is known as bangda music next is khawali it is uh, performed in the entire north india so it is a devotional sufi music characterized by soulful vocals and rhythmic hand claps often accompanied by harmonium and tabla so that is that is khawal bihu music so it is a vibrant music and dance associated with the bihu festival so we have already seen that right next is lavani so lavani dance also we have seen folk dance in uh, maharashtra so the uh, <coughs> the music associated with the dance is known as lavani music remember the state it is maharashtra right so pandavani we have seen uh, this uh, already in uh, while we were discussing the dance also so the music associated with the pandavani dance is known as pandavani music so here epic narration will be there uh, especially mahabharata that is through songs with bhima a central character being the hero instruments like tabla and harmonium accompany the narration next is baul so it is a baul is belonging or has association with uh, bengal so it is a mystical music wandering singers exploring themes of love spirituality spirituality and social commentary etc etc right so next is manganiyar music it is associated with uh, rajasthan right so it is com it comes from the manganiyar community of rajasthan traditionally performed by muslim hereditary musicians uh, it is known for its soulful melodies and captivating rhythmic patterns so this is manganiyar music next is mand it it belongs to or associate has association with uh, chatisgarh right so it is a music tradition that is particularly sung by the gund tribe of chatisgarh right next is uh, batila uh, Bat batiali it is also uh, related with Be west bengal right these are it is traditionally sung by the boatmen while navigating the rivers right so they are known for their use of metaphors and their portrayal of themes like love separation and the beauty of nature right right here you can see bathiyali performance next is jhumur it is uh, associated with west bengal and uh, jharkhand right so it is prevalent in west bengal and jharkhand traditionally performed by women during the festivals and the celebrations it features live lively lively beats playful lyrics and it depicts the themes like love social commentary and everyday life right so this is the jhumar folk dance next is garba dance you know very well associated with that garba music is also there right so this festival or uh, music and dance is associated with the navratri festival right so you know dance is characterized by circular dance formations and ener energetic beats it features lively music played on the dhol and uh, dholki and the clapping of hands right so garba here you can see next is koli music that is performed in maharashtra and gujarat 
इट इज ए वाइब्रेंट फोक म्यूजिक ट्रेडिशन ऑफ कोली फिशिंग कम्युनिटीज ऑफ महाराष्ट्र एंड गुजरात राइट सो द सॉन्ग्स आर नोन फॉर देयर क्लियर कैची ट्यून्स लाइव लिरिदम्स एंड ऑफ एन अकम्पटीन बाई ढोल ताशीमी इट इज अ स्मॉल ड्रम एंड दी पलके इट इज ए स्ट्रिंगड इंस्ट्रूमेंट दिस इज कोली डांस नेक्स्ट इज सेना सो सेना म्यूजिक इट बिलोंग्स टू तमिलनाडु इट इज अ वाइब्रेंट फोक म्यूजिक ट्रेडिशन फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु पर्टिकुलरली असोसिएटेड विद द मार्शियल आर्ट्स कम्युनिटीज ऑफ द स्टेट राइट सो द सॉन्ग्स आर नोन फॉर देयर एनर्जेटिक रिदम्स पावरफुल वोकल्स ऑफ एन अकम्पनीड बाय बीटिंग ड्रम्स एंड अ क्लैशिंग सिंबल्स राइट सो वनम इट इज आल्सो असोसिएटेड विद तमिलनाडु it is a energetic harvest festival they are a energetic harvest festival songs accompanied by instruments like urumi a clay pot drum and the nadaswaram it is a double stirred double reed instrument just, just like the shahana in north india nadaswaram that is there in south india next yakshagana so we have also seen yesterday this yakshagana folk uh, dance so associated with the folk dance there will be ragas there will be music that is known as yakshagana music it combines the yakshagana it combines music dance and storytelling so they for performers they feature a unique blend of instruments like the chand uh, chande that is cymbal and madale it is a hard hand drum and gummate a stringed instrument these instruments are associated with the yakshagana correct right. next is more iyam uh, the uh, tradition is associated with uh, arunachal pradesh it is a soulful uh, melancholic from music traditionally sung by women so they often deal with the themes of love loss and the social issues right so more iyam folk music you can see in the image so these are some of the folk music traditions that are there in india this you try to remember the names of the music name of the folk music and area associated with the music especially the state and the occasion on which the music is uh, performed right often there is a uh, relationship between the dance and the music also so many folk mu- folk music is often associated with folk dance also so you try to have a uh, that synergy also right so uh, let's conclude this class here and uh, we will see the last topic in history uh, tomorrow that is uh, epigraphy and numismatics right with that we will be completing the history part also right. thank you thank you for joining the class see you next time until then have a good day